Hello, this is Mighty Owl. When I was hanging out in the backyard again, I noticed there's so many cool things to measure. Plants, leaves, toys, even bugs. But what measuring tools are best to use? A thermometer? Uh, no, that's used for measuring temperature. A speedometer? Mm, no, that's for measuring speed in the car. Maybe a ruler or a measuring tape. How do we choose the right measuring tool to use? We've used a meter stick and a ruler before, but now we're going to figure out how to pick which one we should use in different situations. We can start by measuring this cool little caterpillar that's been crawling around in the garden. Now, if we try with a yardstick, Ew, whoa, that is really big compared to the caterpillar. Maybe not the greatest choice. A yardstick doesn't make sense because it's not the best tool. Well, what about a smaller measuring tool? Let's try a ruler. It's only 12 inches long. Ah, oh, that looks better already. It's much easier to use the ruler since it's closer in size to the caterpillar. Now let's align the ruler with the end of the caterpillar and see how long it is. We're going to have to make sure we're all lined up before we get our answer. And the caterpillar is two inches long. Nice work. But before we find the next backyard object to measure, let's talk a little about different measuring tools. You already know the ruler, which measures in inches or in centimeters on the opposite side, so you can use both. It's 12 inches long on one side and 30 centimeters long on the other side. And since 12 inches is the same as one foot, you can also say that a ruler is one foot long. And another tool that's also in inches is the yardstick. Yeah, but it's longer than a ruler and measures both feet and inches. A yardstick is three feet or 36 inches long. Or it's the size of three rulers. And its name comes from the fact that it's one yard long although it might not always appear as a mark on the stick, but one yard is equal to three feet. Now next is the meter stick. Now this tool is pretty long too, just like the yardstick. But the difference is that it measures in centimeters and millimeters. It's 100 centimeters long, but it's called a meter stick. And so that tells us that one meter is the same as 100 centimeters. You may also ask, what is a millimeter, or mm, as it's written on the meter stick? Well, these are the little tiny marks in between each centimeter. And so 10 millimeters will equal one centimeter. Now, the last measuring tool for today is the measuring tape. And this one is a little different because it is not a stick. With a measuring tape, you can pull it out as long as you need to to measure your object. And this allows you to measure objects that are really pretty long. Or maybe something that's not perfectly straight. Measuring tapes, just like rulers, show both the length in inches and in centimeters. And are at least 15 feet long. Some are even longer. Now the most important thing to remember is that rulers are the best for shorter objects, meter sticks and yardsticks are best for longer objects, and measuring tapes are good for really long objects. Awesome. Now, let's try measuring the length of this sandbox. First, we need to figure out which measuring tool makes the most sense. Well, the ruler is definitely too short for this job. And the yardstick and the meter stick are also a bit short. We could use them if necessary, but we have something even bigger, the measuring tape. So let's try it out. Okay, great. So now we've aligned the measuring tape with one side of the sandbox and pulled it all the way out past the other side. And now we can see that the sandbox is seven feet long. Great measuring. Next, let's try measuring some of these toys over here. There's a toy shovel and a baseball bat. Now let's match which measuring tools might be best for the toy shovel and the baseball bat. Okay, both of these aren't super long, so I don't think we're going to need the measuring tape. Huh, the baseball bat looks too long for the ruler, so we need to use the yardstick or the meter stick for that. Either one will work. It just depends if we want to measure in feet or in centimeters. Uh, let's use the yardstick this time. 
Now the end of the yardstick is aligned with one end of the baseball bat, so we can now measure it. And look all the way down the other end. Let's see, we can tell that it's larger than two feet, but smaller than three feet. So it's gonna be two feet and some inches. And here you can read that it's two feet and nine inches. Well done. Instead of just measuring in inches, you measured in both feet and inches. And that leaves us the toy shovel now. The toy shovel is a bit short, and so we might be able to use any of these three tools. And sometimes an object can be easy to measure with more than one tool. But let's see if we can use the ruler. Okay, this works. We have the shovel aligned with one edge of the ruler, and now we can read the other side. And it looks like the toy shovel is 10 inches. Yeah, good job. You did a lot of measuring today. But more importantly, you learned a very important skill. How to pick a measuring tool. Sometimes more than one measuring tool works. But usually there is one measuring tool that will be easiest to use depending on the length of the object. Try thinking about which measuring tool might be just a little bit longer than the object itself and start from there. I think I'm going to go measure my little brother. See you later.